Hi guys, welcome to this new video. Today we'll finally talk about how to write a good abstract. This part is quite easy to write as long as you pay attention to the following three main language fields. First, you should properly use verb tenses. I mean, here are the verb tenses to master are the present simple tense, the past simple tense, and the present perfect tense. Then, you should make sure that the length of your abstract is not over the word limit defined by the journal. Finally, you should use a specific language. Just think of searching expressions and keywords that potential readers might use. Well, regarding the verb tenses, this table shows how the main features of the abstract are usually stated. For example, you can use the present tense to write the whole abstract, I mean, the gap, the methodology, the results, the achievements, and the applications. This is actually the easiest way to write an abstract. Here on the right side of the table, we have some examples. The main problem, however, is this paper presents a new methodology for in this paper we apply this provides a powerful tool for this approach can be applied to those are different examples on how the present tense is used to express the gap the methodology the results the achievements and the application in the abstract you can also use the past tense to present the methodology and the results of your work. That simply means instead of using the present tense to present the methodology and the results, you can use the past tense as simple as that. Again, we have some examples here. The data obtained were evaluated using. This was consistent with. Then the last verb tense is the present perfect tense which is generally used to express achievements. We have this example. This investigation has revealed that. So to illustrate all of this, let's take a look at these examples. As you can see, the different users of verb tenses were underlined in red. Just take a look and try to learn the style of these authors. Then, to finish off with this part, let's see what you should do and should not do in the abstract. Why writing your abstract? Please, include the problem, the methodology, the main point of conclusion, and some practical recommendations in your abstract. Also, write in a very precise and concise way. I would not recommend you to write long abstracts. This is not a good practice. Here are some nice references. I use them to prepare the series of videos on how to write a good research paper. Well, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.